our first guest stars as everyone's favorite serial killer on one of my favorite shows, Dexter. Take a look. This kill won't put everything right. It won't bring Rita back. It might bring me back. If you make it mean so much, you'll only invite mistakes. I won't make any mistakes. I'm following the code. Are you going to help me or not? I only want to help you, Dex. This is a big room. I hope you brought enough plastic. Please welcome Michael C. Hall. you were on I love this show I am such a huge fan I've, I've watched it from day one and it's uh it's it's a testament to how good the writing is and how good the show is that you actually are rooting for a serial killer yeah it's uh it's uh that was the appeal to of it uh, from the beginning like could could this actually work right and I think you know he's killing bad people bad bad people that were slipping through the, the system slipping through the cracks of the system and so he's exacting so if you don't know what it is explain what Dexter is if, if you haven't it's, seen it it's about a guy who's a blood spatter analyst uh, works as a forensics guy uh, but by night he's actually a serial killer and he targets uh, killers he kills criminals he arguably uh, saves more lives than he ends because of the kinds of people he kills. That's right, because they're so bad, you bad people. You do root for them, <laughs> and it, and it's it's you know there's definitely blood, but it's not. Uh, you kind of cut away when there's. Uh, it, you don't really show how you do it. You show the beginning of it, but you don't really see. Yeah. It's not that gory. You're left to fill in that blank or those right. blanks yourself with exactly. your own imagination. It's. Uh, I mean, I I love like I said, I love the show. I love the writing. Uh, I, I think it's so clever, and I like the characters so much, and it's just every season there's something really exciting but I had no idea that there would be bobbleheads or action figures <laughs> um, the bobblehead is uh, there's a knife behind your back and there's and and blood there <laughs> it's for adults only I there's think. a Halloween costume too I ran into a guy in the airport so it's your face it's your head <laughs> no that's the thing there's no mask you just wear the kill suit and have the I whole... see oh and lots of cellophane yeah. Boy, that's the thing. There's a, it's a beautiful set because when you do the kill, there's, you use so much plastic, though. It's not environmentally correct. It's really... There's... And there's also, I mean, his, the bag he brings around is like a clown car. Right, I mean, right. the <laughs> amount of plastic that manages to come out of that bag is... I know. There are a lot of powers that we don't see that right. Dexter must have. I think he can fly. Uh -huh. There's the power of invisibility. All that happens And you clean camera. up real, real fast. You're back in time for oh, yeah. your lickety, wife's funeral. Lickety split. Uh -huh. In time for the, my wife's funeral. I mean, you yeah. were so far away. You were like some somewhere far, I know. far I was, away. I was like an hour out. And, yeah, yeah, and then you made it in time for the funeral. They still were. There. I used the power of flight. All right. Um, and uh, and how how are you feeling? I know that uh, last year you had uh, what type of cancer? Uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, which uh, so of the uh, cancer of the lymphatic system. Uh huh. And but I caught it early. It's. Uh, Turns out I was very fortunate to have developed something that was very treatable and curable, and I went through six months of treatment, and I feel, I feel great and very thankful. What's up? Uh... I can't, uh... I know that... I know your mother had uh, breast cancer, right? She's a breast cancer survivor, Survivor. Yes. But your father had prostate cancer? Prostate cancer. And, and he died when you were 11? When I was 11. So, and he was how old? He was 39. And uh, yes, I uh, was uh, 38 when I discovered I had Hodgkin's. And it, it was an age that I'd always uh, anticipated reaching and wondered what it would feel like. And to have um, contracted the disease, it was just... Um, serendipitous I mean kind of heavy but also just like huh well that's interesting <laughs> right uh, and I was just thankful thankful that in my case uh, I had something it was, was a different kind that you could yeah, catch and and, uh, and take care of yeah it's, it's weird because you know I, I have watched all the shows and I didn't notice you looking any differently were you looking like what because you were shooting when you yeah. discovered it right I, I was it was probably uh, we had a, a couple episodes left to go and I you know it's a very very um, intense work schedule and I just sort of kept it quiet so I could get all my ducks in a row what does that mean I don't know it's it's uh, when the ducks are not in a row it's hard to count them right <laughs> 
so I got them in the row and I counted them and then I uh, uh, right. went forward with the treatment right when we finished work and I was able to to do it over the course of the hiatus and um, yeah well I'm so happy that you're okay and thanks. I'm happy especially that like you said that must have been a, a scary time in your life at that age with your dad going at that time it was it was scary um, but it was also just an amazing time I mean a real invitation to be grateful for all all your blessings just the blessing of being alive yeah you know? well I'm uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of, of yours I'm a fan of the show and and uh, the, the girl who plays your sister yes. on the show is your wife yes Jennifer. which is so interesting and she's foster fan. sister yeah uh, that's true so yeah. it's not as weird right all right that's um, not weird that's not weird yeah but uh, but she's great too so tell her hello I've never I will. met her but she's, she's astonishing no she yes. is she, it's it's such a great show it really is uh, Dexter airs Sundays it's, it makes my Sunday nights <laughs> at 9 on Showtime. And today you're all going home with season 4 on DVD. You can catch up. We'll be back. Sometimes a kid comes in and says, hey, I quoted you today, or I learned that, I remember that, or something. It's the most amazing thing that happened that you can imagine. Don't waste your time, no. Because the doggone girl is mine.